Hello everyone, welcome to Green Learner. So this is the next video in the series about Spring Boot caching. So we are playing around with this and we have seen the Spring Boot cache, all the caching annotations demo. In this video, we are going to talk about the customization of concurrent map cache manager that is provided by Spring Boot itself. The previous video links are given in the description box. Do watch that before watching this one. This is the application that we have created and here we are just going to talk about the customization. So I am going ahead and creating the config file. Cache configuration class and I want to keep this one inside config package. All right. So move this, this to the edge. So the project is clean, neat and clean. So go in config. So First of all, annotate it with configuration. So what we want to configure? So to customize the cache configuration, we have cache manager customizer. Okay, if you uh, here, yeah, here it is. And what particular class in this case we have? Concurrent map cache manager. This is the type of class that we are going to talk about, right? So name it customizer and here and here we are going to return some class right so new so this is the new class that we are just going to create it okay we are implementing cache manager customizer and its type should be same as concurrent map cache manager right so this is it so implementing this so this has one method which we have to implement right so this has customized method so this is going to take care of uh, this is taking this uh, cache manager as a parameter so we can cust this concurrent map cache manager now we can customize so if i go here so if i you go here you see there are different methods right you have to configure the set cache names you can allow set allow null values or not and you can decide so uh, how you want to store the cache values right so we are going to see the just some of the changes so cache manager dot set allow null values by default what value it is you can get here here it is written what default value it has default is true so null values is allowed uh, it can be cached here so if you do not want that in cache configuration you can mention that as false so that null is not stored here what what next you can do set store by value so how your values a key value you have some key and values how is that value is going to store you can get that information from here if you press ctrl q you will get the documentation right here so you can see what is the meaning of that it is specifying whether this cache manager stores a copy of each entry or the reference default is false so that the value itself is stored and no serializable contract is required it is false so that uh, it is false no serialization is required but if you have mentioned it true so whatever you are storing that should be serializable right so let's go ahead and try this okay so i am mentioning this as true as by default it is false so that no serialization is required when we are giving it at store by value so true so whatever you are storing for our example we are storing book so it should be serializable for serialization what we have to do we have to implement serializable right so if you are not doing this if you are adding this customization set store by value as true you have to implement the serializable whatever object you are trying to store in the cache right so it is as per your choice what you want to do it is just for the demo purpose right so now uh, just i want to print some string so that we know that it is invoked so we are done with the customization so we have to restart the application so everything is fine here configuration restart the application and see this in action right so monitor the console here so when it will be creating the instance of cache manager it will print it will uh, invoke this customized method also right so yeah customizer invoked right so we got it right here so okay so application is running now go to postman and hit the endpoint localhost and book 43 43 book is stored in the database so i am going to hit this okay yeah it got the book right 
fetching db fetching book from the db right so just clear it out and hit this again yeah everything working fine so it is returning now from the cache so if you in this case if you if it is if your uh, query is returning some null value so that is not going to store in the cache because that doesn't make any sense or something it is as per your choice right so our customization is working fine at this moment so what next i want to show you so this time start the application is debug mode and i want to show you how your value is storing being stored right so there is this class simple cache resolver where it is uh, working to get the cache names and all the information so it has this abstract cache resolver so if you put the debug point here so i can uh, tell you i can show you how it is resolving those values right so it is running in debug mode now so let me go ahead and hit this again now it is in debug mode so cache names cache names we can see because uh, on service impl side we have given the name cache name and result what result it has returned for us cache name book right and value it is giving me cache name and serialization feature you see allow null values false this configuration we have given in our customization right so this uh, set uh, null values false right and this serialization kind of thing we can see here this delegate serializer and deserialization information we can see so cache name books and this this information right we can see so store value can it is this size is uh, coming zero because it has not stored any cache information for now because first time we are hitting this so just clear it again and uh, what to do yeah it is it has fetched the data book from the database and now hit again we will see now the values there so it is being stored there right so if i again inspect the result so now we will get the store this this value earlier it was giving the zero result now it is giving the one right so we are seeing the key value right so by it, it is storing the seed that uh, serialization version so it has uh, got the object serialized it and storing in the byte format so if you if you remove this from this customizer if you remove this store by value true uncommented by default it will be taking the by default it will take the false value and remove the serializable serializable from here so you will see the exact value here at the store point right so this is all about the spring boot cache demo and customization in the next videos i am going to tell you about ES cache in which scenario you can use that guys if you like the content and you found the videos useful so don't forget to subscribe it and share it with your friends i'll see in the next video with all the information about ES cache and how you can use it with the spring boot right all the source code that i'm explaining i'm going to post it in the git repo all the links are given in the description box take care bye bye i'll see you in the next video